Hi Auto Travelers, this is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV. Today I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida, enjoying the beautiful beach out here. And what makes it even more fun is that I've got a brand new 2012 Hyundai Veloster. This car is not only styled great, it drives great. It has a modest amount of power and it handles beautifully. The interior is much more roomier than I had ever expected. And the car has tremendous technology features that we'll tell you about a little bit later. The new Hyundai Veloster has a dual personality. If you're on the left, it has the personality of a coupe. The other side of the Hyundai Veloster's personality involves just a little bit of magic. You look at it and you say, is that a four door? Well, where's the door handle? Well, that's where the magic is. It's hidden right up here. Not only is this beautiful Veloster full of mystery and magic, it also has a paradox associated with it. Back here in the back, we have, well, what is it? Is it a third door? No, that's over there. A fourth door, hmm, possibly, or maybe we could call it a hatchback. But any way you look at it or call it, you got a ton of storage area back here. Under the hood, the Veloster has a 1.6 liter gasoline direct injected dual overhead cam 16 valve inline four cylinder engine with six speed eco shift. The dual continuously variable valve timing also helps to give you the 40 mile per gallon EPA rating. Not only is the exterior of the Veloster nice and stylish, the interior is, is stylish as well. And not only is it stylish, it also has plenty of room in here. This has a lot more room than your average small car. In fact, this is a lot more like the, the uh, passenger and driver seats that you would find in a mid-sized car. And that's one of the things I love about this vehicle. Well, we're back at the hotel after a nice drive all over Florida and a little bit of uh, time on the beach today. And we're back at the hotel. And I want to tell you, I love this little car. It's a great little car. and. It has a reasonable amount of power. It does not have exactly zoom on the freeway or when you're trying to launch from a, uh, from a uh, stoplight. But it, it's, it's quite adequate when you consider 40 miles to the gallon. Oh my God, that's great. And if you like this review, please leave comments below. And if you would like to see more of them, look up right up here above and click the subscribe button and that way you'll get uh, our next review when it comes out. This is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV. See you next time.